I wish it was the 90s because I would have sold a lot more records. Streaming and social media and those things, in ways they've made it more difficult, but in other ways they've, you know, it's helped. I have, you know, people tell me like, oh, I discovered you on a Spotify playlist. And so then I think in my mind, I'm like, okay, well, maybe sometimes exposure is actually helpful. When you're talking about women in country radio, I think it's just an echo of the sexism that is everywhere in our society. Unfortunately, I'm probably going to be dead before uh, equality comes. And it's just a very like white male dominated world. I dealt a little bit with, you know, being a mother and someone who has a full-time career when my son was born nine years ago. And a lot of people asked me like, are you going to quit making music? When it came around this time with my second pregnancy, I wasn't as shocked at the level of discrimination that women many times have to deal with. I think it's important for people to see working moms out there and you don't have to give up your entire career. You don't have to give up your dreams. Like, it's 2020. Like, we can do this. <laughs> Artists and musicians have to do a lot to, you know, try to make a little bit of extra money and, you know, you got to have the merch and the t-shirts. But um, I decided to sell weed with Willie Nelson. It was just kind of a high idea that actually came to life. But people buy, you know, they'll spend five dollars on a coffee, but they're not going to spend five dollars to get an album. And um, people are buying weed right now. I'm selling more weed than records, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> it's Alito's own Margot Price making her mark in a big way in country music these days.